to our April 2023 Orlando haul. The last video of the series, unfortunately. But there is a new series coming soon, guys. There is. Mm, as of tonight, filming Maybe. this haul. Maybe. A little sneak peek. Anyway. <laughs> Welcome! Uh, welcome back! We are back! And this might be a long video, I'm not going to lie, because we've got even more stuff than we did last, last trip, right. I think. Hear me out. We always say we're not, we, we don't really need anything, we're not going to buy much. Let me just explain something to you. When you go out to Florida, you don't need things, you want things. And essentially, the want is bigger than the need. Yeah. <laughs> but everything we've got is amazing, so you're in for a treat, guys. Listen, we got some amazing stuff. I'm not just saying, I was obviously showing in a second, we got some amazing stuff. And you know what? Some amazing prices as well, which is really good. Yes, yeah, so we've got in this haul, it's the same as our other hauls, we've got Bath and Body Works, we've got snacks, we've got drinks, we've even got paintings this time. We've got clothes, we've got shoes, we've got mugs, pins, key rings, magnets. <laughs> the list goes on. Rings. Rings? Ring. One ring. I didn't buy plural rings. Um, essential oils, perfumes, aftershaves. <laughs> the list goes on, guys. So with that being said. Loads of stuff. Let's get into it. I will start off with my absolute all-time favourite pieces we brought back. And it was the artwork from the Disney's... Is it the art of Disney? You went without me to get these, didn't you? So I don't actually know where you got these from. Yeah, so I'm just going to quickly show you. So I got a... Hold them both. Steamboat Willie and a vision. This no, obviously this isn't a painting nor a drawing. Um, this is, I think it's just a photograph and it's edited in. Um, but this is just, a, I saw it and was like, oh, I need that. I think at first my brother actually picked it up and he was actually carrying it around for a while. And then when he put it back, I then picked it up because I was like, it's coming on with me that. And the Steamboat Willie one. Now the story with this is, I actually wasn't looking for anything specific, but I saw a woman or a lady who was in the store with me. She wasn't a cast member, by the way. She was just someone on holiday. And I, she actually had a Steamboat Willie tattooed on her leg. So I said to her, you haven't happened to see any Steamboat Willie, have you? And she went, no, have you? And I was like, no. And she went, I'll tell you what, if I find any, I'll tell you, and vice versa. So, you know, uh, five, 10 minutes later, we were obviously carrying on shopping, just about to pay for this. And she shouted me over. It turns out she actually asked the cast oh. member if they have any left because she'd previously just bought this. And the cast member kindly went backstage, found the last piece in the entire store and then brought it out to me. And that's how I ended up with it. And she also said to the cast member, I'm DVC member. Herself was DVC member. So could you put him on my family and friends? So I got discount. Shout out. On my pieces. What is that? And I love how like they go together perfect. Like yeah. one like they they both black and white. Obviously the vision one's got a bit of blue colour where the castle, like the turrets of the castle, that's blue. But they still like match together. So I think wherever whenever we move, we'll put them up together somewhere in the house, obviously, and they'll look really nice. Yeah, so these originally I said in the vlog was $45 before tax. And I, you know what? I think I paid 38 after tax because the lady kindly put me on her oh. DVC family, which was mega. These are my favorite. I've wanted to bring back some sort of art pictures. Are they both by the same pet? Oh, this doesn't No, say. so that's... That's by someone called David Buckley, is it? Yeah, so this is actually artwork. That's just a picture. But oh, I've, right. Yeah, actually true. I've wanted it. I've wanted... That's really good. That's amazing. We I've, have wanted to get art, haven't we? Like you've been saying, we did, we did want to get art for a long while. So I finally got it. Woohoo! Right, so I think you'll, if you not watch Disney vlogs, you'll see these a lot. These are just the um, refillable mugs that you get in the resorts. Um, it's just for the length of stay. I think these are really good. Yes. We always say they're really good, um, like they're worth it, aren't they? Because they're not too much money. We are didn't they? actually utilise it as much as last trip. No, we didn't actually because we didn't really visit a lot of resorts this trip because obviously it was the other guys' first time or they'd not been in a while. So we were just doing like parks and we just stayed out quite a lot, didn't we? Mm -hmm. We didn't actually go to different resorts. So, but I think we still got our money's worth because we still, yeah. like the very first few days, we used it. But like more towards the end when we was doing like Universe and we went out of the parks, obviously we did. NASA celebration, all that. We didn't obviously use them them days, no. but I think it's still worth it. Even yeah. if you get like two or three drinks out of it, it, I think it's paid for itself. Oh, for sure, for sure. And we always just get one between two and just share. So that's worth doing. Cheap. But we, um, it's the new 100th design as well. I think there was another design with a silver lid, but we went for all the mm -hmm. purple. 
purple one. So yeah, we got that. And I have wanted this. For those of you who have been around a while and have seen previous Orlando trips of ours, I have said that I want this mug. This is sick for a long time and when it comes towards the end of the trip i always run out of spending money and you know i'm sensible i'm like listen i've run out of spending money so that's it i'm not gonna buy it this trip i made sure the first day i walked in universal this was the first purchase i made and you know what it's flipping amazing we'll also do a close-up of this because i don't think like it's even going to pick up the detail on this is sick do you know what it reminds me of tree of life Yes, it does actually. Yeah, it gives Tree of Life Isn't vibes. It? The more you look, the more you find. Yeah. It's amazing. So this cost me $21, this, uh, before tax, which for that kind of mug, the level of detail, it's massive. 100% worth it. Like, I absolutely, I, I, I was sitting with like this and I just, I just it's love it. It's already used it. Obviously, the, the, the day we got back, it was like, right, I'm doing a brew in it. Oh. So, and you, it's a good brew, right? It's a big brew. It's a big brew. Beast brew. It's Beast a big brew. brew. Right, guys. <clears throat> do, do, do. so i think steve always says like i don't need any more of these and mm. I, I i don't really to be honest i'm gonna have to probably throw one that i've got away just to make room for this because <laughs> i've only just got like a new one for my mm. birthday i've got the 50th with the castle on the straw with mickey and minnie leanne bought me that for my birthday so i didn't really need another one but I mean, th this is just, can we just appreciate, this is just me and as a Tom Starbucks. Tom it's a Starbucks one, by the way, guys. And it was, how much did you pay for this? A lot. See, I really wanted one of these, but the price is ridiculous for these. Yeah. Not going to lie, like, it's a lot. $50 before tax. <laughs> but you know what? Like she said on the previous trips, I really want it, really want it. And I, I can't, I don't want to spend that money. But I, and I, I just decided. I justify spending that much on myself for this. You know what? This. Just buy it the want is stronger than the need <laughs> and you had a bit of money spare so you was like you know what i'm gonna get it i had no clue you just turned up with a random bag one evening and it was yeah. like i've just got your present and i was like what and then it was this i never expected you to buy this yeah it is a lot of money it is so the thing is uh, we get asked a lot why don't why do me and lucy pay separately and the thing <laughs> is we have our own separate revolut accounts because i i've got a problem <laughs> and i spend I spend too much money. You buy money. a lot more than I buy. 100%. And Every it, trip you always buy a lot more, but I think I'm a bit more like, mm, I don't like, I'll just save my money or like, like for something like this, I just wouldn't pay that much money for one. But I would. I knew she wanted it for so long, so I thought. And they do loads of different colours, like they do silver for the hundredth, I think that's come yeah. out. They do a purple, they do a gold, and then they do this black one. They probably do different other colours, but yeah. this was my favourite. To be fair, I like them all, but. Yeah. Okay, and the last mug I picked up, now this is actually on the Shop Disney web, uh, website. I actually see it, saw it before we went out, and I actually said to you I really want it. So this is like a classic Walt Disney cartoonist cup. This cost me $20. I saw it and thought, I actually really, really like that. It's a cute little cup. And for $20, I thought, you know what? So it's straight in my basket. So considering we've just done mugs, we may as well show you the drinks that we picked up. And I'm so excited. I just want to point out that this isn't all of them. I brought back seven. No, this isn't all that we've bought. <laughs> That's ridiculous, isn't it? Like, who are we? Right, so I picked two of these up, did I? Yeah, yes. two of these. And then with the little smaller bottles. By the way, this is Minute Maid Pink Lemonade, the best drink out there. Um, I think I picked, I mean, he's already, <laughs> we've already got one open on the golf this haul. Um, I think I picked up. I picked up these from Walmart the first night that we got there. And the rest. And then we picked these little ones up from the airport. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we brought back like seven or eight of these little ones, didn't we? Yeah, we made the mistake to not bring them back last trip in January. Yeah, so that's our excuse for bringing... Because I think we brought some back from New York trip, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. And then obviously the last trip we couldn't, we couldn't yeah. find them. This trip we was like, yes, yes, so yes. So even though like we went Walmart the first night and I saw these, I was like, get them because you know what it's like when you don't get them. Then don't find them for yep. the rest of the trip. And obviously, guys, I also have to pick up these as well. <laughs> we have problems. I've got none of these left. That's why I picked them up. Yeah. yeah. So these are well, I've got strawberry lemonade, crystal light, and raspberry lemonade, crystal light. We Exciting. have issues, don't we? We have problems. I might have some sort of issues with strawberry lemonade, but <laughs> I don't care. And while we've done drinks, we might as well shift to my favourite things yeah. that are snacks. Again, we brought back a lot. Now, bear in mind, I've never tried these before. I got Snickers peanut butter brownie or peanut brownie. Squares. I've never tried them. 
ever. But you know what? I, th I saw them and thought, yeah, go on. I love a Snickers and you know I love a brownie. So, I got them. Why don't you try one for the vlog? I <laughs> mean, you're not going to say no, it's straight in there, isn't it? Oh, they're individually wrapped. Oh, oh, apart from that one. <laughs> one's come out. <laughs> well, you may as well try that one then. Eager Beaver. Right, let's give it a try, shall they're we? quite a big, um, it was a sharing size, guys, as well. It smells amazing. I do like a Snickers, but I'm not sure I'd like these. Mm. Can I maybe have a bite? Yeah. Because mm. I don't know if I'd like. I do love a Snickers though. It's because it's got brownie in it. It doesn't really taste like brownie. That's not what I'm getting from it. Well, it's just like the biggest bite ever, so. <laughs> it doesn't really taste like brownie. It's lovely, don't get me wrong. Mmm. Mmm. Isn't it? Mmm. They're alright. I mean, Good. Snickers are not my go to chocolate bar. No. But anyway, moving on. Because we'll be here all day. We would, yeah. I got these red hearts. They smell strong. Now I've got a thing Are about. Are they like jelly beans? I have no idea. I've never bought. I've never. Let's tried open them. them. Let's try it for you guys. I've got a thing about things. I wasn't expecting that. Right, oh, this is not like jelly beans. It's things in cardboard. I'm never really a huge fan because you can taste the cardboard on the sweets. It says the cinnamon flavored candy. Do they smell of cinnamon? Oh no, they don't. They smell like them fireball like sweets. Oh, they're amazing. Mm. I don't think I'm. I think they're going to be too much for me. Ooh. I'll try one though, cause Ooh. why not? It's got a bit of a. Oh no, is that it? Bit, bit back of the throat. Mm. They're quite hard. Watch your teeth. <laughs> I don't know if I want one now. Do it. Go on. Put it in. Go on. <laughs> no. They're nice. Are you stitching me up? They're nice though. I can't remember how much I paid for them. Watch your teeth. Mmm. They're a weird consistency, like they're I really agree. hard. I agree. But the flavours in that, it's just cinnamon, isn't it? It reminds me of something we used to get as a kid. That yeah. cinnamon, what was it? The fireball Fireballs. Things. That's what it reminds me of. They're great. You know what? They're all right. They're nice. I like them. Now, like every trip. Love a taste test. Love Reese's things. Dark chocolate Reese's things. They're amazing. I mean, amazing. you get them every time we yeah. go somewhere, don't you, to be honest? I'm not going to try them. So, I got two bags of those. Um, and while I'm on Reese's... Oh, I didn't know you got these. Yeah, so I actually got these for the room, um, but I decided oh, yeah. I'm going to bring them on because I've never tried them. So I'm not going to get them out now because, like I said, tea's cooking and all so that So just stuff. like a cereal bar type mm. of thing, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, that'll be nice. How many do you get in a pack? 16. We don't need to say anything more about these, do we? I got two, you got one. Yeah. The best. The best. Please, if you go, grab yourself a packet. You won't regret it. You're welcome. Also, something that doesn't need an explanation. Woo! Yeah, don't need to say anything about them. <laughs> what I do, I'm, I'm going to mention, is these, which aren't onions, but these are Buckles, Buckles Snack Rings, sweet onion flavoured. Vivian and Karen picked us these up. Um, they went to Buckles. I have no idea what Buckles is. Did they say it was like a massive gas it, station? Is it called which Bicky, was... Buckies? No, oh, Buckles, look. The cup. Oh. <laughs> Wait, it's, it's so Buc the place is called Buckies, but these are called Buckles. Yes. Snack rings. Yeah. Get it right, I mean, Jesus. Um, yeah, Vivian and Cameron went to Buckies, which I have no idea what it is. Never I think they it. might have said it was like a gas station convenience store type of place, and they sold like loads of random stuff. And they said, obviously, they, f they know I love Funyuns. Um, so they picked us up like the nearest thing they could find. They didn't need to get us a gift, no. guys. Like, you really didn't. But I'm excited to try these. Yep. I'm not going to try them on the vlog because once it, I open these, then they, I'm probably going to eat the full packet. So yeah, exactly. and I can't be doing that. So I'm excited to try them anyway. So another thing I have to pick up. Combos. So I got two packets. I got pepperoni pizza, which I got last time. They're the best flavour. I think, anyway. I've not tried all the flavours. They've got a very odd... Consistency. Oh, I love these. Like they're nice, but they're very unusual, shall we say? Crunchy oven baked crackers loaded with zesty pepperoni mm. and real cheese flavour. Very nice. Just weird. I love these. So I don't know which ones I picked up from the Walgreens or CVS and which ones I got from Universal or did I pick them both up from what I, I don't know. But I they sell these in Target. Um, didn't see them in Walmart to be fair. No. CVS and Walgreens are probably your best bet. Or oh, they're all over Universal you can get them. So I got pepperoni pizza and then I just got the pizzeria ones which is just like margarita mm -hmm. pizza ones. Yeah. I love these. Made with real cheese. 
So, guys, I couldn't find the Graham Cookies in Disney confectionery store, unfortunately. Now, someone did mention to me on Instagram, I think it was Abby, and she was like, I'm here now, I can't see him. And I was like, stop, like, I'm going to check when I'm there. Couldn't see him either. So they best not, like, stop doing them. The only time we saw them was in the shop window. Oh, my God, we saw them in the shop window. So I went in, I was like, oh, my God, surely if they got them in the shop window, are they going to be in the shop? Yeah. No. No. So instead, I saw these in Walgreens or CVS. I think it might have been Walgreens... I don't know, one of them guys. These are just gold emblem honey graham cookies. They look very similar. They're gonna to taste the, the Disney same. ones. So I thought I'm gonna get these in if I can't find the Disney ones. Um so pick these up. They're quite a big packet actually, and these were dead cheap. Mm -hmm. Like really cheap. Excited to try them. The little bears. Don't know if you can tell, but yeah. they're like little bear shaped. Cute. And I got uh, this was actually bought for me by Chris. I bought Chris a milkshake. Did he? I never knew. And he returned back Aww. with these four Ghirardelli bars. Now, I've never bought Ghirardelli bars from, well, Disney Springs. But oh, we haven't actually, have we? Those of you that have watched know that I love, it's like my second home. It's the best place in the world, Ghirardelli. I absolutely love it. So, I got a intense dark raspberry. So, it's got like raspberry little bits in it. Raspberry Ooh. dark chocolate. This is a new thicker bar and it's got raspberry inside. Oh, that's like a liquid raspberry. I don't think I like that. Intense dark, so just regular dark chocolate, and then an intense dark Ooh. toffee almond. You better save that one for me. I'd like that. Have toffee you noticed? almond one. They're all intense dark. There's a thing here. Yeah, we do. I mean, I'm getting used to because you love dark chocolate. Love. So we have got a few bits of dark chocolate, mm. and I'm like, I mm. do like dark chocolate now. I never used to. So for the four of those, they cost nice. 15.95, I think. I think that's what he paid, uh, but no, he okay, didn't. He didn't have to. I bought him a milkshake, and he oh, came back with those. So I, I was like, he bought them. Oh, thanks, Chris. Yeah. I'll enjoy them. I'll enjoy them. Speaking of dark chocolate, should we go on to see? Right, guys. I think we like the last trip. We said like I wanted to look for Oreos that were like a different flavor. You know, like ones that you don't normally get. And I think we found some. Mm -hmm. I mean. I mean, these are just, Oreos are dark chocolate anyway, aren't they? And these, you picked these, didn't you? Yeah. Dark chocolate ones. And also, I got peanut butter ones. Which? Now, I don't know if they're going to be too much, but... I love peanut butter. Obviously, I like Reese's. Shall we try some? Try one. You know what? Maybe I'll have Which one do you try? I said peanut butter ones. Go for it. Let's do it. There's a lot. It does say family size on the, um, the package as well, which I didn't realise. They smell... <sighs> Mega. So good. Mmm. <laughs> so good. These are a good shout. They are super creamy, aren't they? Mmm. So they good. did, um, you'll have seen on the vlog at this punk, mm. it was like the first day, weren't it, that we got these. They had quite a few different flavours as well, mm. didn't they? Yep. They had another peanut buttery one, but... I don't know what that was, but I thought we'd just get the standard peanut butter one. These are good. They're mega, them. They're well better than I thought they were going to be. Mm. And I love peanut butter, but they're mega. Mm. There's a lot in here. I like! Very impressed with these. Mm. Very impressed. So, after the food, I'm going to move on to what I picked up. I mean, it's food related. Because I'm a child. I bought myself a metal lunchbox. You know what? I kind of regret not getting myself one. But the other day I was thinking, will it keep stuff cold? No. No. So I need one really for work that has like lining inside and that like, keeps it yeah. cold. So actually, I probably best that I didn't buy one, but I do love that. I can't remember how much it was. I think it might have been $25, but I absolutely love it. I love how like, retro it is. And you know what? I don't care what people think. I love it. And I just walk around proudly Disney like this. Disney adults. Disney adults. I love it, mate. It's sick. I also wanted the Jurassic Park one, but... And the NASA one. Maybe next I loved time. the NASA one Monday. as well. That was really nice. I'm going to get a collection going. A collection of lunchboxes. Monday, we... You can have one for every day of the week. Yes. Let's be that person. Let's do it. $25. Money well spent. Bargain. I'm going to go back to the mug I showed you, the Walt Disney cartoonist mug. These are actually part of this collection. These are Christmas decorations. Um, I'll tell you what, one at a time. So th these were quite expensive in terms of a decoration. These were $30 a piece, I think they were, before tax. Spenny. Very expensive. But this is the most amazing decoration I've ever, ever seen. I'm going to actually drop in a snippet of what it does for you now.
So, this, honest to God, is the best decoration I've ever bought. I can't believe, like, it literally plays a full advert. It's crazy, like, the detail on it. And, and that's, my, like, one of my favourite ornaments I've seen. I love the partner statue, yeah. Walt and Mickey, and then I think that's probably my second favourite ornament. Am, yeah, it was amazing. I saw it and I thought, I have to get it. And I also saw, because I'm a big fan of Steamboat <laughs> Willie, a Steamboat Willie one as well. Of course we had to get that. This, oh. I think we've got some, um, I say on our tree, we don't actually own a Christmas tree right now because we got rid of it. Um, I think we've got a few that are like this with mm -hmm. the glass, haven't we? Swittle match yeah, as well with our other decorations. This also does something. Oh my God, it plays music. Oh my God, it lights up. $30 this cost. Um, but again, I saw it and thought, why the hell not? I absolutely love it. How long does this go on for? <laughs> it's, it's the same with the um, the TV. It literally plays the full advert. Yeah. Ama oh, oh, it's stopped. It's stopped. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. I'm so glad I bought them. We weren't even planning on getting Christmas no. decorations. Like I surprised you with them. Yeah, because I didn't. It was just like I bought you a surprise. Again, Steve loves a surprise. Um, amazing. I love that. I, love I, I know I can't wait for Christmas now to yeah. put them up. <laughs> So while we're on little bits, uh, we'll show you a few keyrings, pins, and magnet. Yeah. So I picked up. You picked up a keyring, but unfortunately we can't find it anywhere. Mm, can I've we? lost it. Don't so know where we it's Don't gone. know where it is. I don't know whether we left it in the room. Mm. But I got this Jurassic Park. I'm gonna do a close up of this because there's no way this is even gonna pick it up. Yeah. But I got a Jurassic Park keyring. It's like a big metal one. It says Jurassic World Universal Studios on it. Sick. And this was eleven dollars before mm. tax. It's still got the price on. That's why I'm telling you price, because <laughs> I never know prices of things. No. Nope. Um, but this is just for my house keys, because unfortunately the keyring yard for my house keys broke. So I thought, why not pick up this one? And yeah. I think you got a Jurassic Park one as well, wasn't it? But we can't show you this cannot, one, guys, because we don't know where. Don't know where it is. I cannot find it, unfortunately. So. I don't know where it is. I'm, I'm really sad about that actually, and it's not even my keyring. No. Ah oh, well, you win some, you lose some. And I also picked, we don't collect magnets, so I, I picked up a magnet, but this is for my mum. Jurassic Park, $12. Classic. It is a bit steep for a magnet, not gonna lie, but it is a massive one, and it's, yeah. it's a wood magnet, it says. And I like it. Classic, logo, love it. Now, moving on to pins, but I just want to point out I'm oh, not... Pins, yeah. I'm not a pin collector. We do have a few pins, so I'm not gonna lie at all, man. We Surprisingly, have a few we've got ones. a lot. We've got a lot of pins surprising them, but we don't collect them. We did have a pin board. Um, I, did, I bought a castle one, but it broke. Yeah. So we do need to have some sort of pin board maybe when we move. We could do that. They're yeah. all in a book at the minute. But. Yeah, so I'll show you what I've got. This is a limited edition one. This is a classic Steamboat Willy one again. Now, this was quite expensive. Uh, $30 in the parks. So quite expensive for a one pin, but it it's Steamboat but... Willie and it spins and I love it. You know, one of those you kind of want, not need. That was the strong one. And it's your favorite character. So yeah. like, I think you need a Steamboat Willie pin, right? Yeah. I also picked up this classic Mickey as well. These are a new release. They're like the 100 celebration. But I just want to point out, these damage very, very easily. Now the mm -hmm. security went, I, I carry a lot of stuff in my bag, camera stuff and that. So it always gets stopped at security. And as they place it down to go through it, not their fault, obviously, they scratch the hell out of it. So I explained that to a cast member, just said, oh, they're really, the shame about these because they're really weak. And she kind of just swapped them all out for brand new ones. Really nice which um, customer service, that. I didn't really expect. Good. She changed out a couple of them. I've got Donald as well. They actually don't do the Fab Five, which is quite bizarre. So I only got a few of these, but still great. They're just very fragile. Be careful with them if you do buy them. Yeah, you're not going to show. We're not going to show all the pins because you did get quite a few. You're got just going to show like random ones that you picked out, yeah. aren't we? Um, of course, Harry Potter because <laughs> you had to get a Harry Potter one. You had to get this one. This was this was. Is it just a crest? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This awesome. was fifteen dollars. Which you know what? The level of detail on that well worth it. I also picked up a Pandora one, which comes night and day. But unfortunately, on the last day, I lost it. Which is a shame. Um, yeah. But do you know what? I've got the night one and my brother Ben actually has the same pins. And he doesn't actually know what he's going to do with them. So he actually did say to me, you can have the day version of mine. I'm actually going to put these on my project no rock. No backsies, Ben. You've no said backsies. it now. I'm going to put them on my project rock bag uh, all over the kind of the front of it. Just so when I take it to the parks, it looks really cool. But unfortunately, oh, I just I, I lost one. it. I lost the day one, which I was gutted about. But you know what? It is what it is. Ben's gonna Ben's kind of to replace it for me. 
I also picked up a couple of dinosaur ones. I got the oh, yeah. Jurassic World. That's obviously the new version. Um, I do also have the classic Jurassic Park one. And a Dino Observation Committee oh, one. Oh, is that from the... Oh, no, it's from Universal Studios. I thought that looked like good dino vibes. You yeah. know, from Animal Kingdom. That's not your dino. Yeah. But it's not. It's from Universal, though. It so is. It's Jurassic Park one, isn't it? Yeah. But you could get away with that um, in Disney yeah. as well, that one. Ten dollars. Eight dollars. I don't know how many you picked up in total, do you? What no. was, like, the total? There was quite a few, weren't there, that you saw that you liked? Yeah. But like I said... The vlog will be ages if we show you all of them, but... Not a pink collector, but no. once... Once I started pinning them to my bag, <laughs> that was it. So, we may as well go on to another dino thing that we bought, seeing as we've just shown your... Um, Jurassic. Jurassic stuff. So this was from... What's that shop called? Dino Store, I want to say, in Universal. It's literally as you come out of Velocicoaster. Yeah, you go into that like building, and there's a downstairs bit and an upstairs mm -hmm. bit. And there's also the burger place yeah. there. Anyway, I got it from a shop in there. They did loads of like necklaces, earrings, bracelets, rings, um, all sorts. And I never even noticed it before. Nope. I didn't know that they did dino rings. Like, I was in the shop and I was like, oh, I wish they did like, because I wear rings. I've that. got Disney ones. And I was like, oh, I need a universal ring. Like, if they did a dino one, I'd buy it. <laughs> then I'd turn around the corner, saw a dino ring. So I'm going to do a close up because it's obviously tiny. Um, but yeah, this is like my favourite dinosaur type of dinosaur as well I got. And it's got some sort of fossil... Oh, I can't remember what they called it. I'll put it on screen if I remember the name of what's in it. But it's also got like a little bit in his belly. And that, um, how much? I don't know how much but I paid $80. It. it was like 80 something dollars I think, which is a bit pricey. But I treated myself. I did a Stephen and I treated myself. I'm going to show you what I didn't plan on getting is my Magic Plus band. Now, I was on the search for a Walt one or a Steamboat mickey one. Oh yeah and so i couldn't find it you'd see one online hadn't you it was i'm sure it came in the hundredth collection yeah so it but was it weren't anywhere in the in in florida i couldn't see it it was steamboat willie and it was yeah. walt disney and nobody had heard of it so if i just I find it online i'll put a picture of what it was mm. on the screen to show you guys but we couldn't find it anywhere either way either way it got a different one i settled for the oswald one instead there was loads of oswald stuff weren't there this time as well they brought out a full collection of oswald yeah, stuff yeah there was a I huge huge collection of oswald um and i thought you know it's, it's close enough to steamboat willie as i'm gonna get really i love the colors as well like how yeah. it's just like simple it's not like in your face either and this was quite pricey too it was like 50 dollars, wasn't it i can't it? remember yeah it was one of the mm. it's a magic band plus so you guys know how much the prices are yeah. them and I think it might have been the middle or the most expensive one with it being limited edition, mm. but... I love it. I love it. Oh. I also lost it for a brief moment, but I did got it back. Think, did you vlog that bit? In the, yeah. Did you film it in the yeah, vlog, that it. bit? In um, Pandora? Yeah. <laughs> but some lovely lady had ordered it. Yeah, she so did. Not much you can do when you lose them. Chris lost his as well, didn't he? Yeah, and we got it back. But we got that back as well, which I never thought we would. But he lost his in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, didn't yeah. he? But they do come off. They do... Easily. pop off easily so just watch it if you get them yeah. see so you might tell that something's something's different now which i've not got my ears on but i'm showing them because I've, i bought these this trip these are from i got them from epcot but i think i saw them a few different places yeah they were still everywhere um, but i got them the day that they came out like it was literally we were just walking around the creation shop weren't we and i was like oh my god look at these ears and i love the free caballeros and that's what they are so i can show them a bit give them a shake and guys listen Oh my god. So I just I just loved how colourful they were. Now I didn't need another pair of ears because I've got millions and I've just been gifted a few. Um, I'll put her shop in the link description as well. So go and give her a little follow because her ears were really good. Um, but $35 well spent. I had to buy them. And look at the colours. Like, yeah. I'm obsessed. It's got Donald there as well. I don't know if he's in focus but amazing. I'll put these back on now. Yeah. While you show your little headwear that you've got. It's not got ears though, guys. Don't get excited. Oh, no. I don't wear ears. <laughs> um, so I picked up a few hats. So I picked up the NASA hat, which was... I love that. That was quite cheap for what I remember. I think it was something like $25, maybe. Don't quote me, because I've wore it a few times. So I love that. Nice. And it would also be rude if I didn't pick up any Project Rock. So I picked this up from, obviously, Under Armour. It cost me $40. That's expensive. <laughs> I, thought it, I thought it was like 30. Maybe it was 40, but then it, they took discount off at the till or something. I don't like. think they did. Under Armour. Well. Robbing me. 
I wanted it anyway. Um, I didn't realise it was $40. It's $40. Cheap. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Um, you've got two of us as well. Well. <laughs> this was not bought for me. This was technically gifted. Yeah, you didn't buy this. We didn't pay any... Well... We paid for the we boat. We paid for the boat, mm -hmm. and then this came with the boat. Well, I don't know whether they do this every single time, so if you guys get a boat, I don't know, because they didn't advertise it, but I just said, oh my God, wouldn't it be amazing if we could get like a sailor cap, like it'd be well good for the pictures. And the girl who was helping us was like, no, we've actually got some, yeah. do you want one? We was like, yeah. So we only had one, didn't we, on the boat ride yeah. as we went round. And then when we got back, the guy, when we were paying, because you paid after you did the boat, he gave us another one. So Steve's got one, Ben's got one. You know what? You know what, they're sick. I did not take it off once. No, he didn't. So that last, well, it would have been the last vlog that you guys saw. Yeah. He's wearing it for like the full vlog. He's wearing it in the airport. He wore it on the plane home, guys. <laughs> the only time I didn't wear it is when I had a picture with Big Show because oh, I didn't yeah. want to ruin it. You wanted to impress Big Show, didn't you? Yeah, I wanted to impress and Big Show. And he might not have understood the yeah. cap. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they're the only hats that I have. Moving on to... Well, we may as well just go to Claws. Claws, straight away. Next. Straight up. Steamboat Willie, as you can see. So this was from I Uniqlo. I the colour of this. $25, I think it was. Do you remember? I think it was about... Oh, $24.90 or something. Don't ask me But prices. I love it. Look at the back, too. <laughs> Great. Um, I also picked up NASA, because it would be rude not to. I like that, yeah. Yeah, it's lovely colour, lovely, lovely colour. Um, yeah, I'll just chuck them, I'm just... I'm just just chuck them at me, yeah. We don't need to speak too much about these, because they speak for themselves. Oh, an uh, Under Armour. Another Under Armour. It's not Project Rock, this. That's just basic Under Armour, isn't it? But do you know what? They were like $12, so I thought... So these ones are from the Under Armour store in the Outlook, oh, right? Yeah. These two. Correct. And they were the two for what? Oh, 25 were they not two? or something. Oh, two for 25 I love this one. I oh, think yeah, that's really lovely. cool. Again, they've both got stuff on the back because that's our vibe. We love like a big graphic on the back and then not so much on the front. Yeah, I love that. Um, these feel really nice quality as well, these. It's under armour, it's great. You can't go I might be wearing these in the gym as well, guys. So. Um, gym on. shorts from New Balance. Oh, now, yeah, I forgot you got these. I, I know, I actually did. <laughs> so these were super cheap. From what I can remember, they were $20. So these weren't the first colour you wanted, right? No. We saw some others that you liked, but they didn't have your size in standard. Standard. So, But the blue's still nice. You haven't got any blue ones, no, have you? they're really you nice. Black. So cheap as well. Now, this one was kindly nice. gifted from Lucy, actually. Oh, yeah? She... See, guys, I, I do surprise you with gifts. Eh? Uh? <laughs> yeah? Oh six, that! Bring it up, bring it up a bit so we can see the writing. It says, when I'm not driving my Mustang, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking about, about my it. Mustang. True statement. Again, a massive graphic on the back and then... Little on the front. Little on the front. And it's a red one on the front, just like ours. The irony is... If is you didn't know, guys, we own a Mustang. My brother went, who wears things like that? I had the t-shirt on and I was like... Me. <laughs> Me. I I don't I mean I'm not shy. Um I'm just advertising that I love Mustangs. So this was bought from a shop when we went to the Old Town. classic car show it was called. Was it? No, it was a muscle car show on the Friday night. Mm -hmm. They have loads of shops there. I think we vlogged in the shop to be honest. I can't yeah. remember now, but we will have done. And uh, they had so much Mustang yeah. merch, didn't so they? So much. And you were looking at it and I was like, you know what? Get, Get one it. and I'll pay for it because yeah. I love it. And I loved that one. There were so many. Yeah, if you do head down to like Old Town Kissimmee, like, it's such a vibe down there. It's great. Anyway. Yeah, we really, really recommend doing that. I'm waffling again. You are. I'm boy. getting excited for Mustangs. So this is the only piece of clothing I bought, I think, that I'm going to show you guys next. Yeah. I, I never bought it. I think it was like last shop yeah. I never bought it. Did I? I only bought one hoodie. And again, I bought another hoodie, guys. <laughs> but, but look, look at this. Ah. I don't really know what else to say about it, to be honest. But it's just got the logo, nothing on the back. The size I got was an XL, I think, because baggy. I tried the large on and the XL. And I just thought, you know what, I want a baggy fit. I wear them around the house, wear them to the cinema, yeah. like when we were lounging around. I just throw it on over leggings, so I didn't need it to be fitted yeah. or anything. I love that. I've wanted a Jurassic Park one for, for so long. But on all the other trips, they just normally do Jurassic World and I'm like no I want classic Jurassic yeah. Park like I love Jurassic World but Jurassic Park is the one mm -hmm. so uh, and it's black and I wanted a black one so and the final right piece of clothing street. the final piece of clothing guys oh are I these love these very loud trainers that I picked up I hope it focuses they're Nike yeah they're Nike 
Yeah, the Air Force oh, ones. The Air Force. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say the. Yeah. These remind me of Buzz Lightyear guys. Both Do sides you agree? are different. Are they? So oh, these yeah. were priced at like hundred and forty something. They were, and I was sold on them straight away. I was like, they are load. They are such a vibe. Ninety four dollars when I got to the till. Yeah, because they were priced somewhat different. Yeah. And we got to the till, and then it ended up being well cheaper than we thought. And then we were like, I was like, yeah? take my money. <laughs> They are, they so are these fantastic. are from the outlets, right? Yeah. Again, the night store in the outlets. I love them. Look how cool they are. I hope it pops. Nice I know, yeah. They're super cool, honestly. They're proper Buzz Lightyear vibes. They are loud. You didn't wear them this trip. You've saved no. them, haven't you? So maybe next trip, guys, who knows? I think you should take them. I'm going to wear them tonight. Are we wearing them tonight? Oh, yeah, we're going to cinema to watch Guardians, guys. So excited. So good. That is the final piece, piece of clothing. Piece of clothing, anyway, yeah. I'll tell you what, while we're on it, because it's Under Armour, before well, we shift. We forgot shift. to show it in the mug and cup section, but we'll show it now. <laughs> size of this this is my flask my project rock flask it's gym flask now guys yeah. how much does it hold 1.9 liters is a beast but it's a thermos so it keeps it cold beast i just want to point out as well i got a discount on it oh my god because she said she, she was just in such a good mood she said do you know anybody in the army and i said yeah my you know what? We very do. very very best friend perry is in the army you remember him from the new york vlogs if you've not seen him go watch yeah him. she said can you just show me a picture of him in his uniform and i was like i was like do you not just want to perv on him in his uniform girl like why are you asking for a picture but we like, showed him in his little uniform and she just went beep beep and she was like is he in your family we were like yeah he's yeah. our cousin yeah and she's like right okay yeah, i'll do it and he got oh, I think I paid thirty-four dollars oh, for it. it. Did you mention it was Project Rock? I don't remember who did. Project Rock, yeah. It's got the um love. Oh, I I love the colour. I love yeah. how that's like marble here as no. well. And um Chris and Ben got one as well because Why, why the not? hell? We're all gonna be twins in the gym walking in with like your massive Cheers like, boys. <laughs> <laughs> hey blood sweat respect. <laughs> hey. Come on, Rock. Hire me. Stop messing around. Give me a job. I wanna work with him. He definitely watches the vlogs, doesn't he? <laughs> Obviously, and, he do. And Listen, Big Sean now watches our vlogs. He, we made, you made him subscribe, didn't you? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so that is it for clothing, Project Rock, all that stuff. So now we'll show fragrance stuff. We've got three things to show. Yep. We picked up these from that. Is that from, no, that was from the airport, right? From the airport. And mine was from the outlets. Yeah. So I got Mundane, which... We didn't vlog this trip, did we? That I had that, that I got that. It was our first trip together first and that trip. isn't on any of the vlogs. So mm -hmm. you guys wouldn't know what this is, but I got this randomly. I don't know what it is. It just says Sistel Paris. It's called Mondaine, Eau de Parfum. God knows, but I got Beautiful. it the first time we went away together and it's so nice. And then the other times we've been back, we couldn't find it. And no. I have looked for it because obviously the other one ran out. But and then we just stumbled across it this trip. So I was like, gonna buy. So yeah. I did. And I picked up the Yves the YSL Libra, the this is the spiced one. I can't remember what it was actually called, um, but it's the parfum. Spicy. It's the really strong. It's the one. intense one, is it? Or is it not? It's just as parfum, so it's super intense. It's beautiful. Though. It has a little bit of spice for it because she did say you're male, so the spice in this. I think world. it is meant technically is women's, but we don't care. I don't care. We don't care. <laughs> I love it. If it smells good, it smells good. It's getting worn. So that's what I got. Yeah, so they're the two perfumes, aftershares, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. And then the other thing is another yeah. essential oil. Obviously, of course. we always buy these. So these are bowls, signature candles ones, which we get from Co-op mm -hmm. Marketplace. They do so many. They do all different ones that are like related to rides and like different areas, resorts and stuff like that. And we got this one, which is a haunted mansion yeah. smell. It's called Haunts. It's I'll do a close up because again, it's probably not going to focus on this at all. But it smells so good, I'm just going to smell it again. We just had it on, haven't yeah. we, in that little diffuser? Yeah, so these are around $16, oh. but they are beautiful. And they're super strong. God. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you don't need a lot of drops no. in your diffuser with these, but again, I... we have to get these. They sell, obviously, candles, yeah. other stuff as well, but we just get the diffusers because we have to have them body yeah. works, candles. Yeah. They're so good, though. So, yeah, another one to add to our collection. Bath and Body Works time, guys. Bath and Body Works. So this is the last section of the vlog now. Yeah. I think we always put Bath and Body Works last for some reason. Best to last. It's because it's the biggest, I think. I think our snacks were quite big, though. Mm. Yeah, we're greedy. Um, so the first thing, actually, we'll show you, seeing as we've just shown fragrances, mm -hmm. Steve actually picks with fragrance, guys, from Bath and Body Works. Do you want to show them? Yeah, so although <laughs> this is perfume, it's an Eau de Parfum. Uh, this it is... loves a girl's perfume. That's what we've gathered from these vlogs. Right, this is called Dream Bright. Now, not, I mean, not necessarily females, I don't think, but it has got jewels all over it, so... 
probably is females. Who cares? But it is beautiful. Now, I've actually got it, the body sprays from the previous trip. And I actually said to now, next time I'm going, I'm getting it in the, in, getting it in the perfume. Can I spray some just to smell Oh, it's it. beautiful. So this actually set me back $60, $59.50 before tax. Um, and oh. I, isn't it? It smells berry-ish. That's my first thing that I've just it smells got, like berries. Very good. Very. <laughs> you're not even a dad and you're giving dad jokes. It's beautiful. So yeah, although technically an aftershave perfume, aftershave because men's. Um, it is a good scent, that. It's beautiful. So I got that. How much did we say? Sixty dollars. I did say. Stop oh. listening to me. Sixty dollars. Anyway, moving on. I didn't get any sort of fragrance, but I might no. have to buy that a few times. It smells good. I think so. Get out of here. Room sprays we're gone to now. Let's yep. keep on the theme of sprays. So we only got two this trip. I think you picked one and I picked one, yep. didn't we? Ooh. <laughs> Get what we've got. Raspberry and whipped vanilla. Champagne toast. Ooh, they're going to be good. These were on a deal, two for something. Um, two for 12, isn't it? I think it might have been two for 12. They used to be cheaper than that. They used to do a good deal at two for, I don't know. But, but you know what? They'll last a long time, so it's beautiful. And this one is actually berries. <laughs> yep. Bright berries. So yeah, I'm excited to... Try them. So shower gels, it was, well, all body care, which I think it's always this deal. It's buy mm -hmm. three, get three, three free. free, or buy two, get one free. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Something like that. So I got six shower gels. Of course them. I did. So we actually use this in the room. Amethyst Waves is my first one, but it's half full because we, we used, used it, it in the room. I like using them. Like the, the H2O products at Disney. <clears throat> Crap. The they, crap! I don't understand the hype, really. They're they not are, that great. They smell like it's crap. Like, it's like sea salt <clears throat> smell, which isn't too bad, but they're not Bath & Body Works level, and they don't lather. No, they don't lather at like, all. Like Bath & Body Works, you can have the tiniest little bit, and you can do your full body at this. I was just like... They're terrible. It's, yeah, I'm not a fan, guys. I don't know what the hype is over them, but remember, I'm not a fan. I remember when I was like, oh, the famous H2O, it and I went, I'm going, yeah. what's that? Yeah, Bath & Body Works out. Yeah, same. Mm. So we always, well, obviously we don't go back and body works first, so we have to use the H2O. Mm -hmm. Until we go back and body works, then we're like, we're mm -hmm. gonna use these. So I got Amethyst Waves. Yep. I'm gonna pass them to you. Yep. I got Golden Mango Lagoon. I got Into the Night. Into the Night. I got Wakiki Beach Coconut. Oh, that is good. So as you can um, see, they were bringing, a, I don't, because this is a summer scent, so I think they were bringing like summery, even though it was spring, mm -hmm. I think they were bringing some summer scents out. Champagne Toast, like the room spray. Very nice. And then Dream Bright. Like is that perfume. the same as your perfume? Yep. Yeah. Oh, and these, these smell really good. So that was my like pick. Steve also got loads so, of shower gels. I don't know if anybody's tried these. These are moisturising body washes. They're now, massive, I, they are. Massive. Now I actually bought one last trip and it was amazing, like it's super soft on your skin and it lathers really, really well. And I lost it. So I was, oh, yeah, do you remember? You I was fuming. I you must have left it in the gym, right? It, yeah, 100%. And someone's 100%. obviously seen that and thought, hey, up, I'll be taking that uh, off. Straight in my bag. There, yeah. Um, oh. So I said, this time I got, this This time we go on the, uh, the previous trip, trip just gone, uh, I was gonna get plenty of them. So I went for Coco Paradise, mm. Dream Bright, Dream bright. <laughs> Into the night. So I've got that as well in a yep. shower gel. And warm vanilla sugar, which Oh yeah, that's incredible. standard. We know yep. that's like a standard smell. Everyone loves that one. Yeah. So I got them and they were again three for three. I also got other things to go with the deal as well. I didn't just Yeah, I feel like we've counted these and they're not there's not that many for the deal. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like you might have paid extra for one, but who cares? Who cares? Who I cares? know I got something for free if you remember from the vlog. Yeah, you got and something for free, but Oh although I do have lots and lots of body sprays. Don't I have a lot? It does have a lot. I can't help myself. I when I go I'm just like just chucking it all in the bag. So I got some more body sprays. Can we tell Steve um, paid more in Bath & Body Works than I did this time? My receipt was His like, receipt was absolutely... Eleanor, was... they would love your receipt. They love a good long re receipt in their vlogs. And it was massive. Yeah, it was huge. You paid like... Was it like $160. And mine was 80 So it wasn't... I wasn't too far off. But to be fair, that perfume was probably what, what caused you to yeah. pay a lot. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so I went for... Dream Bright. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bit of a theme going on with Steve's stuff here. But um, that is such a good scent. Wakiki Beach Coconut, which is 
amazing. I think that's the best coconut one that they do, I think, the Wakiki Beach one. They do quite a lot of different ones, but I think that's the best coconut one. I only love it so much because I associate it with my very first car. I used to have a smart car as my very first car, and it used to smell of coconut because I put Yankee Candle Coconut Bay in. They don't make it anymore. And that's why I love it so much because I associate it with good times when I first started driving. I was in this little smart car. I was dead sexy. I was pulling all the ladies. You're telling a random story that isn't like the truth, eh? yeah. Me in a smart car, yeah, like. And like definitely not. Ooh. I don't think that happened. Afternoon light you, off. You had a smart car. That's the truth. Whether <laughs> yeah. you're pulling wages in it is another thing. <laughs> Come on, show us your next one. Coco Paradise, which is beautiful <clears throat> as well. So those are. That's it for your purchases, isn't it? That's it. Which you've got quite a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's oh, it. Oh no, that... actually, tell a lie. You got them hand sanitizers. Thief. <laughs> She thieved them. <laughs> Definitely did not. Right. I'm going to pass you them. I don't know what I got. We're going to, we're going to find out together. Well, you got five, so they must have been a deal. Yeah, five for eight, I think. So, watermelon lemonade. Oh, come on. <laughs> Beautiful. Watermelon lemonade. <laughs> watermelon, no, I'm joking. It's actually not. You only got um, two. Turquoise waters. What's that? Oh, it's Ooh. nice. It's very summery. Oh, it's all over me. Very nice. <laughs> Reminds me of um, sun cream. Coconut sandalwood, amazing. And pink pineapple sunrise. <sighs> um, these are just the anti back hand gel scents. Yeah. I've still got some left over, but you go through them quite quickly. Yeah, I you? use them really Because your work obviously you use your hands a lot, so yeah. your hands get dead dry. Dirty, dry, whatever, and I use <clears> them religiously. So yeah. that is my haul. That's just me. So what have you got? I've just got two candles left, guys. That's sure. it for the haul. Now, Again, we weren't going to buy any candles this trip, were we? But it's me, and of course, I had to get some, and I got two. Well, I was buying one, and I couldn't pick. You helped me decide this one, and I'll tell you why. But then we smelt a second one, and we were like, just I'm just going to both. get it. Yeah. So this first one is Blueberry Marshmallow Bar. Damn, Come on, get... let's smell. Mm. Oh, I just want to eat it. I like. So this is a packaging. Of this one. Yeah, it's beautiful. Get so it's there. really cute. Get out of the way. So this is the packaging of this one. Stop ruining me candle shot. Everyone is here for the candle shot. It's not your face. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, come on. Anyway, yeah. Um, anything blueberry, I love. So then, when you found this and you was, and I was like, right, well, that's the one I'm getting. Because I, I, I was in there for about three hours. To be fair. Trying to pick a candle. You went, pick one, I went, smell that. And you went... Yeah, I'll get it. Yeah. Is that right? Because I love blueberry stuff. So that's my first one. Now, did I pay... There was a deal, I think. There was a deal on these guys. I didn't 100%. put a full price. Was it buy two for something? Something, 100%. Or 50% off one of them. Something like that. 100%. Now, this next one, I believe, smells of Flight of Passage. Oh, yeah, I remember. Let me get it. It's called Lakeside Morning. <sighs> It does. And I've seen this on a vlog, and it I don't does. know if it was the Night Strider vlogs when they were going round, and they said one of them does remind them of Flight of Passage, and I was, and I smelt this, and I was like, I wonder if it's the same one. I don't know if it is. I'll have to go back and watch the vlogs. It really, really does. Like, it's not going to work, is it? It will. There it is. There it is. It really, really does. And I think it does. <sighs> My God. And it's a three wick, so it's better than the ones you can buy from Bowles, mm -hmm. which is in the co-op, because yeah. they're only small ones, mm -hmm. aren't they? But, oh, I'm excited to, um, we've, we've got loads, but I'm yeah. excited to um, burn this one. Okay, guys, so that is the end of the haul. We are completely spent up. We spent <laughs> a fortune, well, I say we spent a fortune. I spent a fortune on lots and lots of stuff that I don't need, but I wanted. And we love. And we love, of so, course. No regrets. But this may have been a long haul, so we do apologise. Let me yeah, just say. Thank you so much if you're, still, <laughs> if you're still listening to this bit. If you got this far... Let's um, drop a comment or drop an emoji in the comments. Should we just do a love heart emoji? Yeah. And then we know who's actually made, you know, it. made it this far. Because I've not edited this yet, obviously, but I reckon it could be quite a longish video. I mean, our videos are always long. long. <clears throat> it's not going to be as long as some of our vlogs, actually, though. So it's probably a short one compared to them. I mean, but you know, <laughs> if you have made it through the entire series, first of all, well done. Because I go on and on and on and I chat a lot of rubbish. And, uh, yeah. The chat's on a lot more than you guys see because I cut it all out. Yeah. <laughs> no, to be honest, like... I'm just an idiot with a camera. But so, 
with that anyway. being said, guys, we are off. So thank you guys for watching. Yep, Please thank you so much. do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this series. And comment. Leave us a comment. If you've got any questions as well about this series, anything at all, drop a comment below and we'll answer them. Or messages on Instagram. We get a lot of questions yep. anyway to our Instagram. And we'll reply back to you. We like chatting to you all. So definitely do that as well. If you've got any sort of questions about this trip, let us know. Yeah, so have a wonderful evening. And we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Again, you always do this. Jesus, next time I'm in charge of remote. No? Okay. Guys, I found my key ring. <laughs> it's here, look. So this was rammed in my bag. I knew we wouldn't have left it. Like, we always double check, like triple check. Like, we always check we've not left anything. Oh, I'm so glad you found it. <laughs> so it's the Jurassic, is it Jurassic Park or Jurassic World? Jurassic World. Mm -hmm. Yes! I knew, I knew it. I knew I brought it home with me. <laughs> That's an alarm for our tea. That's our alarm for our chicken. That's in the oven. We're making fajitas, guys, as we film this. I'm coming! Behind the scenes. Um, yeah, we should probably sort that out and we'll get back to you.